Hello everybody, welcome back to more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door where we last left off we got the uh, paper plane mini game from doing some troubles and today we're going to do a few more troubles because you know why not. So again, if you're not interested in all of that, uh, don't bother watching this video because uh, that's literally all that's going to be done. Um, after this one I might like uh, just go on ahead and do chapter 4. Uh, also update in the badge situation. <laughs> Yeah, I ended up getting those uh, those badges, and I decided to put a HP up and an FP up on. Uh, when I get to the badge I want, I'll take those off and replace it with that. It's just to keep type me over. Uh, it's, it's no big deal. Yes, I cheated for those um, coins. Again, if you want to know how to cheat for them, um, basically it's requirement of the emulator. You can just use state saves to get the outcome you want to get like triple sevens and stuff. It's not really that big of a deal. Okay, so now we need to talk to Mayor Krupp. Listen to me. Okay. Will someone talk to me, please. Okay. And this is an instance where we will be using the uh, Petalberg shortcut we unlocked. <laughs> so yeah, you can call me a cheater if you want for getting those uh, plus badges, but honestly, like, to an extent they were gotten legit like they were taken out of the slot machines and getting triple sevens actually isn't as hard as you might think um just like with the bingo game you can actually do it with the little ch the sound that's playing in the background but obviously if you uh, have the glory of state saves you can do it much easier without losing any tokens in the process come on come on come on come on <laughs> didn't quite make it And off we go. Okay, now we need to talk to this uh, eccentric fella. He's got my request, good, good. Okay, I'm just going to sit back and you can read. <sighs> oh, is he done? Okay, so yeah, that's basically all the deal is. So yeah, he gave us a turtle leaf, something that we could get in his front garden at any time we please. Um, those are used for ingredients in uh, Zesty's rather wonderful, or however the Germans say it, um, uh, kitchen. I guess, I don't know. So yeah, no big deal. Unfortunately, it's not quite as easy to get back as it is to take the shortcut itself. Still, it could be worse. And obviously it's a lot faster than, you know, going through the regular process. And that way you, you know you ain't gonna get into contact with any enemies. Pardon me. Um, I don't know if I'll be stopping at like the next game because I'm not sure when it is. If that's have a oh, okay. Um 
Yeah, I could do all that in this video. Th th there's a lot less to do here now than I thought. I need someone to help me restart. Please come to the shop in Redpool Square. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll finish the troubles here now in this part. And, um, yeah, then I can move on to Chapter 4 in the next one. Okay, bargain. Yeah, I, I honestly thought there was a little bit more to do than that. <laughs> right, I think it's actually the bloke that's standing outside the shop, but I am not 100% certain on that. First off, let's see if the uh, merchant has changed its stock at all. Um, you have, but you don't have what I want. Curse you. Curse you, you merchanty bastard! Oh, okay. I did indeed. Oh, courage shells. Five courage shells. Oh shit. Um what's my item situation? Okay, uh right. Right, 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 right. By the way, I I will let you know this now. Even if you give him those courage shells, he will not sell them. Uh let me tell you leave. Um I might as well put in the cake mixes and the hot dogs. I don't actually know when I'm gonna need those. I didn't actually see the desired quests when I saw them. Ugh. I'll balls to it. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go through that again. I've got everything I need. This is kind of fast. I hope this isn't too boring for you. Like I said, uh, I wanted to get these done anyway because I can't actually remember some of the items you can get from uh, the Pianta shop when you give in the membership cards, but if I recall, you can get some pretty funky badges out of it. So, to an extent, it, it's worth doing. Okay, now I'm pretty sure you can buy Courage Shells at the shop in uh, Petalburg for three, maybe five coins each. If you're wondering what Courage Shells do, I don't know if uh, I mentioned this before, they actually raise your defense. That is really poorly timed. I'd rather they just put a spring there, in all honesty. The game is starting to show off sort of like its backtracky elements, but uh, the trouble system in the game is completely optional. I guess some of them are worth doing, like I said, for the um, uh, the what's it, <laughs> the the membership cards. You can also get some other spe special goodies out of it, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. No big deal. I wish I had remembered that sooner about the courage shells. <laughs> oh. Um, because funny enough, the one with the cake mix and the hot dogs, I definitely do remember. But the thing is, with the hot dogs, there's no easy way to get them. Uh. They're exclusive to Glitzville, and Glitzville doesn't have a shortcut. I don't know why, it just doesn't. Oh, there's only four places in the game that have shortcuts. Alrighty then. Um, it's not really worth talking to that chap on top of the Shine Sprite building. 
Speaking of which, how many Shine Sprays do I have? Seven. Not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, uh, I, I probably won't bother talking to that guy. I will speak to Luigi's uh, partners every time, but I won't actually speak to Luigi all those times until the grand finale chapter. Why am I in here? What is this madness? Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, my brain is getting a little bit frazzled right now. Okay, I'm going to give this guy the courage shells, and then I'm going to start doing some cutting in between trips. Now that you're starting to get the idea. That's five, you're done. Ultra Shroom. That is actually a really good bargain. Uh, star. You keep hold of that. I'm actually running out of storage space, so I really am going to have to, you know, sort that out in the near future. Uh, especially since there's something else that I'll be putting in for, uh, to storage later on. There are some really useful items, and actually I'm saving all of these for the Pit of 100 Trials when I get to them later on. Because I'll be doing that after Chapter 4, which I believe is also where the trouble that requires you to go down a certain way is so the Pit of 100 Trials. Now the reason why it's not till a bit later is because the Pit of 100 Trials pits you against some tough enemies. Like even on the first floor, the enemies there have about 7 plus health. And the Puny Elder. Emergency Shroom. So now we're going to Boggly Woods. Yep, no big deal. And uh, this is why I kept hold of that life stream because that's exactly what the puny elder needs. And because I found a free one like ages ago, it's not that big of a deal. So obviously, before I take the shortcut there, I'll be taking the uh, life stream out of my storage. But yeah, um, until that time, I guess I'll just cut to it. So I will see. Hello, you everyone. In a bit. I am such a fucking idiot. I completely forgot about the FP badge there. Oh god, I, I don't know how I forgot that because honestly that was one of my favourite badge locations of anything in any game, so yeah, screw me right? As some people in previous parts were like, there's an FP plus badge over there, you know? Well at any rate, uh, this is the one that wanted it. Also I did some clearing out of my uh, item bank, I got rid of the dizzy sh uh, dials and a normal mushroom because honestly there's really no point. Yay, I solved the trouble. Lots of coins edge back. Okay, so uh, I shall now cut back to Rogueport, probably in front of the merchant and see if he's changed his stock, so I will see you. Hello back. everybody, I am back and he actually has the badge I want now. The W emblem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the badge. Okay, now I never have to talk to this guy again. Unless, of course, there's something else uh, that I want in particular. Which I probably will not get. So, the reason why that badge is kind of cool is because uh, I get to change Mario's outfit. So now I am a Wario Mario. So, um, I'm probably going to play the rest of this episode in this outfit for a bit now. You know, just uh, changing dungarees is always nice. We're nearing the end of the troubles now, I believe. Basically, the troubles between now and Leicester are actually in Rogueport, which I don't think any of them are. I'll be uh, sort of cutting out, and anytime I see anything important, that's when I'll hit record again and uh, show you what the important stuff is. So it's all, all simple stuff. Simple, 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 simple. Uh, la la, play with me. Pianta Palo is now having his grand open event. Wee! And takes this request, gets something special from Lala, the cutie kitty boo. I'm waiting on Rogue Port's west side. Yep. Okay, so this one seems like it's in Rogue Port. Unless she's gonna make me do something else. I keep forgetting, this is so much slower. It hacks the frame rate down exactly half to what it should normally be. Or at least in Rogueport it does. 
which is a shame too. Yeah, like I said, this paper, a uh, thousand year door. I've said this so many times. A thousand year door is the only game that does this. I'm pretty sure anyway, because Windwaker didn't do this. The only thing this outfit is missing is uh, flipping Mario's M over. Wasn't this place already open? I did. <sighs> well, that was pointless. Yeah, all she did was give uh, me a few coins. I think that was like five or ten or something. I wasn't really looking. Also, you can see that I lost uh, a couple of my coins in getting those badges that, honestly, I really didn't need to get. I don't think she sells anything like phenomenal, uh, like attack up badges. And again, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, it's been so long since I've actually played this and gone through those troubles. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll show what uh, the additional badges are each time. I am hoping to get a hold of more uh, power smashes as well. Yeah, why haven't I been doing that? I, I could be checking Miss Mouse's shop to see if she's got any more Power Smash badges. I wouldn't mind uh, getting a few more of those just to raise my attack up, attack power up a little bit more. That'd be awesome. Help my daddy! Is uh, Ah, that's the pit of 100 trials. No, I will not be doing that one yet. Uh... Heartful cake, but forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I have to keep my shop open, so can you find the recipe? I'm hoping. I first found the recipe from Tosty. Toasty, sorry. Yes, over in Peltberg, you see. Please meet me in the Chalmers Hub beneath for it. Howdy! Okay. Uh, this is actually what you need the cake mix for, which I believe you need two. So, um,. Yes, I shall rush off and grab the cake mix and I will meet my right. back. And uh, if you want to do this trouble, you actually have to talk to Toasty first. And uh, cake mix and ruin powder. Ooh. Now, I'm pretty damn sure that I don't need the ruin powder and it is just the cake mix I'm after. I hope, because I get Ruin Powder in the next chapter, but obviously I don't want to go into the next chapter just yet. Oh boy. And what's even worse is that if I back out of the, tr the trouble now, um, there will be severe consequences. Uh, also, I'm not bothering to... Uh, cut this little journey out because it's not exactly long and um, it's just reminding of the person that you actually have to talk to in case you lovelies have forgotten this might be a longish video um, regardless of all the cutouts of the journeys I'm taking if I included them this would be much longer Oh no, what should I do? I have no cake mix and I have no really job. Ah. No doubt. Ah, 30 coins. Excellent. Now I'm pretty sure I needed the uh, cake mix for something else. I, I did think I needed two for that for some reason, but evidently not. Then again, it, it wouldn't hurt to have some cake mix on me anyway, because, uh, you know, at some point I will be showing off the um, the recipes anyway. Well, not all of them, because that will just take forever. Uh, but I'll show, you know, a couple. As well as the system that you actually go through to do it. There'll be specific recipes I want to make anyway. It doesn't need cake mix, but whatever. Okay, uh, nearing the end of the trouble tree. Oh god, that sounds so redundant. Okay, Jolene, the food I want. 
Oh boy. Okay, I will meet you in Petalburg. And I'm back, and the food he wants is actually hot dogs, funny enough. <laughs> yep. Yes, yes, yes. Have one. Yes, and he asks you to get another one. Because he is an asshole. Wait, what? What was that? Oh, yeah. God fucking damn it. This was why I needed the additional cake mix, and I fell in the water. Okay, uh, I will now meet you in front of Zesty's shop. Hello again, now we need to talk to Zesty with our cake mix. And yes, she's still calling me Stomp a lot. Yep, I would like you to cook up this cake mix, thank you. So I guess, uh, you know, this shows off Zesty's business uh, without me having to do it later. Two beds for the stone, I guess. Who's cake? I have no idea whether why there was fire there, but hey ho. So yeah, that's uh, Zesty's business. Now I will meet you back in front of like greedy bulb orbs. Uh, I was gonna say house. He lives in a uh, flower bed. Anyway, I'll. I'll, Hi, I'll meet I actually there. completely forgot to hit record. It was only when I noticed that my numbers were yellow that I realised this. So I just gave him the moose cake, and he just said, you know, he's been a bit de demanding, and you know that he wanted to be spoiled by others, and he's become selfish, and blah 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 blah. And he gives me dried bouquet. You want more? Just bring me another hot dog. Ugh. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, cruddy gift. I will say that much. Okay, so yeah, that was a little short snippet. Now I will be taking on the last uh, trouble that I can do so far, and I will show you exactly why it's the Alrighty, last one. Alrighty, back at the trouble centre. So if you look down, we got a request from Jolene. I need some cleaning done, motivated workers only. Please meet me in the glitz pit. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I will run my way there and explain what this trouble uh, requires. Basically, I have to go into the storage room and pick up a load of sweaty underwear, as you do. Now, I have to pick them up one by one, which will be put in my key item inventory, and then I have to give them to someone specific one by one. It is very slow, it's very tedious, and very mundane. And that's why I left it as the last thing to do, because I, w I will not show, like, all of me giving the underwear over to. Um, God, it sounds so gross. Because, honestly, there's really no point in it. So, yeah, that's my business. Ugh. Honestly. So, yeah, I've been carried over here, there and everywhere, doing lots of cuts these episodes, but... Yeah, like I said, these st you don't have to do these, but it's the only way to get certain things. So, you know, might as well do them. But hey-ho, I don't really mind. Well, actually I do, because some of these are just really pointless, like the bulb 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 I don't even know what they're called anymore. It's very late for me. This will be the last uh, episode I'll be recording today because I've got a lot of stringing together to do. But yeah, I promise that after this one I will be doing Twilight Town. Sheesh. Oh good lord, this is slow as hell. Supposed to be the the tape box to security cameras. Also, what happened to all the posters? Grr. Come on, 
Come on, come on, come on. Oh, did I tap out? Yeah. It's nowhere near as bad as it usually is. Move out of the way. Oh, this is the only other time you'll have to uh, check for those star pieces. <laughs> I believe the term is rubbish. Okay. I don't know how they got there in the first place. Yep. Prepare to be annoyed. God, it's so dumb. I suppose uh, an excuse to get me to do stupid chore tasks. Right, I'm pretty sure that's all of it. And this is some of the room here. Which I don't think there is. Actually, I never checked this room. Uh, now that it's all nice and clear. Yeah, no corpses. Yeah, I could have sworn that Jolene popped up and said, Did you clear it all out here? I could be mistaken. Uh, one more check. Alrighty then. This basically leads to where I want to go anyway. I do believe you actually have to talk to her before the Gumba will actually take the stuff off of you. So uh, yeah, I will meet you back again. Report. So this is the Gumba that uh, has uh, these battle trunks. Yep, so basically this is just me mashing A and giving him the stuff. And, uh, uh, mashing, 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 mashing. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, and they've all been given over. <laughs> yeah, and now I have to return all the way to Glitzville again. <laughs> so, I shall meet you there. And we're finally back here with the last trouble I'll be doing this session. <laughs> oh, good lord. This is so stupid. Yep, and I only get 30 coins. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's all the uh, troubles I'll be doing for this part. In the next one, I will finally be getting back on with the story. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make sure to keep it as interesting as possible. Um, just to make up for how arduous this was. So, uh, yeah. Blazer Dragon with Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I will talk to you later.